of the impact of the offense upon the victim and the wider community. Michigan House has passed a hate speech bill to fine and jail parents, teachers, pastors, and politicians who speak truth. It's known as HB 4474, and it amends the state's Ethnic Intimidation Act of 1988, which will make it a hate crime if a person causes severe mental anguish to another individual. This will make it legal for left-wing prosecutors to go after anyone, literally anyone they disagree with. Whether that be speaking truth from a Bible or that be a parent speaking out at a school board meeting. The bill refers to literally anyone they disagree with. Whether that be speaking truth from a Bible or that be a parent speaking out at a school board meeting. The bill refers to intimidation and harassment as willful course of conduct involving repeated or continuous harassment of another individual that would cause a reasonable individual to feel terrorized, frightened, intimidated, threatened, harassed, or molested. These weak-minded leftists can literally twist these words to mean whatever the so-called victim or the authorities want them to mean. If you point out that someone's gender is based on chromosomes, you will then be charged under this hate crimes bill. The bill's sponsor is state rep Noah Arbit. Punishment will include a fine of up to $10,000, up to five years in prison, or both. People accused of hate crimes may also be required to complete a period of community service intended to enhance the offender's understanding of the impact of the offense upon the victim and the wider community. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mahabakhachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the Spirit. And power Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much there's a bill that's being pushed now, pushing it into a law where now they're saying that if you're reading from the Bible and you're quoting things from the Bible, in other words, like who Esau is according to the scriptures, that's an automatic hate speech crime now. So now they're pushing for famine of the word. Now they're trying to push laws where we're not going to be able to teach. Now this is what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone have been saying for years. All right, Esau is trying to stop the truth from getting out. All right, he's been revealed. All right, the truth is getting out. He's been revealed and he doesn't like it. So now he's pushing laws to try to have the truth from getting out. But you can't stop the truth from getting out. All your laws and all that, you can't stop the truth from getting out. It's all on the internet. You know, people can look this information up. But this is what Esau is doing. All right, Esau, he's trying to bring famine to the word. And, you know, to you brothers out there that send this truth, this is what's going to be put against us. And this is what Yehoshai was talking about when he was alive in the flesh. When he was here in the flesh, he warned us about that. He warned us about that. And we're going to read that right now. The Lord warned us about that. This is John uh, 15 and 18. It says, If the world hated you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So the, the world hated Yahawashai before we were hated. And Yahawashai warned us about this. He gave us a warning about this back then. When he was here on earth, when he was here on the earth in the flesh, John fifteen nineteen. If ye were of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of this, ye are not of the world, because we're not of this world, we are of the world which is to come, which is the kingdom. We're not of this world. This world is against us. This world is against the Israelites. They're against the men of the Lord. They're against us. All right. They were against Yahweh Shai. It says, but because ye are not of the world, see, if ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you. So the world hates Yahweh Shai, and the world hates us, but they hated Yahweh Shai first. Verse 20, it says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, because they persecuted Yahweh Shai, all right? 
It says they also persecute you. We're going to be persecuted. Now they're pushing forth the demonization. They're flipping it as they're calling us a hate group. They calling us a a, a, a a black like we're they pushing us as a hate group like oh we're like the Black Panther Party no we're not like that this ain't a black power thing this is for our people the Israelites so called Negroes Hispanics and Native American Indians but Esau is pushing it as we're just this hate group and we're not we're just wanting to tell our people what's due to come and we're giving these heathen nations the understanding of who they are according to the scriptures. We're letting you know who you are according to the scriptures. And we're letting you know your punishment. All we're doing is reading the scriptures. That's all we're doing. But they're pushing it as, oh, these, these guys are a hate group. You know, they're a cult. They're a hate group. They stand out on the street corners reading reading Bibles and, and using the Bible for hate. No, we're, we're, we're giving you, just because we're telling somebody who they are according to the scriptures and what judgments that they're going to get upon them. How's that hate speech? How's that hate speech? And the problem is Esau, is, he's mainly scared because we have woken up to the truth. And he knows that he has a recompense due, right? It says they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. And this is what is coming amongst the men of the Lord. This is what is coming up against the men of the Lord. 2 Timothy 3 and 12, it says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai, because that word godly, it also goes into a similarity of devout, which that word devout means godly. All right. It says, yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach shall suffer persecution. And this is what is getting ready to come. Now they push in a, a bill to push it as a law that if you're out there in the street corners teaching and you're saying who Esau is, according to the scriptures, that's a hate speech. You're going to be automatically taken to jail for five years and given a $10,000 fine. So this is feminine of the word that's getting ready to come. And it's coming. It's, it's coming. The elders of Paul's great millstone have been saying this for years. Esau is going to bring famine of the word. Well, the Lord is establishing famine of the word. But Esau is pushing it to be famine of the word. Because the Lord is using Esau to fulfill his, his purpose. All right, His prophecies. Prophecies have to be fulfilled. But famine of the word is coming. The Lord is bringing famine of the word. Because there was a time. And this is why the elders of Paul's great millstone. And all the sincere brothers out there have been saying for years, you are to get this truth while you still can, because we're not going to be out here much longer. You brothers out there that's in the that's that's got notice of this truth, you should start doing works because we don't have much time left. So if you are Jake that's been in the truth for a while and you haven't been doing no works, you better start doing it now. Cause we don't have much time left. You see there's a bill that's already being started, which is going to be a law push. So that's going into feminine of the word. You guys out there that's not teaching, that's followers of GMS under the Banner Great Millstone, and you have not been teaching, you better start doing something now because we don't have much time left. We don't have much time left. And if you keep sitting there telling yourself stuff, you're, you're going to be in, in deep shit too. Those of you that have not been doing works, you're going to be in deep shit. You really are. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And Esau knows that he had but a short time. That's why he's pushing all these laws, he's pushing all these agendas. Now he's pushing a hate speech crime. You know, he's pushing it already as a state, already trying to make it a law now. So you have these things coming. These things are coming uh, amongst the men of the Lord, right? Famine of the word. This is why, again, that spiritual arc is closing. And this is this is why we have to, you know, get this truth while we can, man. We start taking notes, you know, learning more, you know, have the precepts and, and build up, man. Because we don't have much time left. We really don't. Family of the word is really coming. Mark 13, 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. That's what's happening. The, the prophets, the men of the Lord are hated for, for, hated for the Lord's name's sake. All right. It says that ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we have to endure through it. We got to endure through the persecutions. We got to endure through the, the uh, trials and tribulations that are uh, before us individually. Yeah, individually. Because you may be in a camp, but you still got to go through your own infirmities. You have to go through your own afflictions and infirmities. And each and every one of us indiv individually is going to be tried on our faith. The evil days that are to come, which are before us, is due to come. And you're going to be tried individually. 
So this is why you want to get the truth. This is why you want to really, you know, uh, sustain in the ministry and, and praying to the Lord and ask the Lord for mercy. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land. See, there's going to be a famine taking place. There's a bill that's passed called a hate speech crime. So now if you read it from the Bible, you're reading scriptures from the Bible and you're just bringing it out of the scriptures. You can, you can now get fined for that shit. And you go to jail five years for reading out of the scriptures. But you know that's Esau, man. The Lord is using Esau to fulfill his prophecy, to fulfill his, uh, so his prophecies can be fulfilled, man. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing of the word of the Lord. And that's what's coming. Famine of the word is coming. It's coming. So again, you people out there that's that's skipping to the loo and treating this shit as it's just entertainment, you're going to wish that you got the truth when you had the chance. And you're going to wish that you did the works. You Jake's out there that ain't doing works. You're going to wish you did them. Because when that time comes, you ain't going to be able to keep going down to the camps only and not do nothing. It's, it's going to be on you at that time, at that at that moment. Once other apostles always say we had a good run, ain't no more going to camp, I wonder what you're going to do. None of us know what we're going to be doing. But those of you that have not been doing works, we're going to see what's going to happen. You're going to see you're going to see what's going to happen. Because you didn't do nothing for the Lord. You just sat and just kept going down to the camp, which is cool, but you got to go out and teach. You have to do your own part in the ministry. You have to. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. This is Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even unto the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So you're not going to be able to get the truth. You're going to try to go from city to city, from sea to sea, from state to state, country to country. You're going to try to get the truth and you're not going to be able to get it because there's a law that's being pushed out. That law, which that law, which that lady was reading, this law right here. The Michigan House has passed a hate speech bill to fine and jail parents, teachers, pastors, and politicians who speak truth. It's known as HB 4474, and it amends the state's Ethnic Intimidation Act of 1988. So th that's what's coming. It's a bill, but it's going to be it's going to be put into a law. Once that bill is pushed into a law and it's across all 50 states, you're not going to be able to we ain't going to be able to get the truth no more. You're not going to be able to get the truth. You're not going to be able to get the truth, man. You jakes out there that's been stalling and playing, now is to get the truth. Get the truth. If you already know the truth, start doing lessons. Start teaching. Start working out your salvation. Because they nobody in GMS can save you. You can be under them all you want to. There's nothing wrong from learning from them. Absolutely learn. That's fucking awesome. Learn from them. Take notes. Grow in the truth. Go down in the camp as much as possible. Absolutely. I'm not telling you not to go, but you got to use your works to, to, to get to be of the elect you have to put works in for that you can't just just sit under people they can't save you man i'll seek it for myself i'm talking about myself first and foremost that's why i do my own labors that i can uh, in the governed body of yahweh bashi mashai you know because we don't have much time left that's a bill that you just seen so, hey, man, Lord Wellness Lessons Edifying, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yashai, Bahashim Wakakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, put your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm your brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. A little wellness lesson was edifying. To the next time I say Shalom. So, hey, you ain't got much time left. We don't. Shalom.